if I tell you this wheel will continue its rotation next 30 days without giving it any external mechanism. Would you believe it? It's called perpetual motion. In this video, I am gonna to show you this part surprising experiment on perpetual motion. In order to do this experiment, a bicycle wheel was taken for this experiment. I filled some empty plastic bottle with dense liquid. Then those plastic bottle along with the liquid was tightly bonded with the wheel. It is important to hold the bottle at 45 degree angle along with the wheel. I am binding the wheels on by on. It is very important to maintain equal distance in between two wheels. Otherwise, it will not be overbalanced wheel. It is done and the wheel is ready to show you the perpetual motion. Okay, at first I am giving some rotation as well as some energy so that it can start its infinite rotation. Ready, steady, go. Well, before show you the rotation, I would like to explain how it's supposed to continue its long time motion. As you can see, when this bottle is going down, water is changing its position by a small movement. This movement of water creates a momentum. The direction of this momentum is same as the wheel's rotation. So the total momentum of every bottle is supposed to continue this rotation long time. What do you think? Will this rotation continue next 30 days? Well, you may see a lot of videos in YouTube about perpetual motion. Many YouTubers demand that they made overbalanced wheel that I just made right now. That are able to infinite motion without any external mechanism. It is so called perpetual motion. Those people who exhibit video about the perpetual motion on YouTube and got couple of millions view, most of their experiments are absolutely fake. Simply I would like to say they cheat with the audience. I made this video to show you how they were fake and why perpetual motion is just an imaginary concept. The movement of this wheel cannot be continued long time. My experimental setup is more precise than other people and see how long this wheel can continue its rotation. I have counted the time, it was stopped just after few moments. I changed the size and the number of bottles, the result was same, it stopped after few moments. Now, it's time to reveal how other people show you the perpetual motion for a long time. See, if I run a table fan, the air pressure from the fan helps to push the wheel. That's why you can see the long time continuous rotation from other guys experiment. The fan was out of the camera focus, simply they cheat with us. I would like to explain you why it is not possible to get continuous motion. As I told you before now, some momentum is created by the left side bottle that helps to rotate the wheel. It is true. But this momentum is cancelled by the other bottle that are going up on the right side. So total momentum is zero. I hope you know the momentum is the multiplication of mass and velocity. In this experiment, the total new momentum is zero. At the beginning of this experiment, I start the rotation by my hand. That means I gave some energy. That energy is consumed by the friction of the wheel's bearing. At a result, the wheel is stopped after some moments. 